med school application timeline. Hey there, future doctor. Are you getting ready to apply to medical school but can't figure out the tricky timeline? What's a primary application? What are secondaries? And why is Casper the Friendly Ghost part of this process? Don't worry, we are breaking down all of that into a simple and easy to follow med school application timeline. First, what are the primary and secondary applications? Well, most MD schools in the US use the American Medical College Application Service, also known as AMCAS, and it allows you to apply to multiple medical schools with one primary application. If you're applying to a DO or a doctor of osteopathic medicine school, you would use the American Association of Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine Application Service, or ACOMAS, and public Texas medical schools use the TMDSAS. Regardless of which version of the primary application you are using, this is the app that asks you for your basic information, including official transcripts, GPA, resume of activities, personal statement, MCAT score, and your letters of recommendation. The medical schools you apply to will then send you their secondaries after receiving your primary application. These applications are unique to every individual school and will generally ask you to explain why you're interested in their school or program amongst a few other questions. So now how does all of this happen? Well, here's a super simplified timeline of events to help you plan for your medical school apps. Let's start with the beginning of the year that you're actually planning on submitting your application. From January through March, your only focus should be the MCAT. Try to take it by March so that you can get your score back in time to submit your primary app as soon as you can or decide if you wanna retake the MCAT and still apply early. Don't know where to get started with your MCAT prep? Check the description below for tons of free resources, cheat sheets, study planners, and more. Now, on to April through June. If you haven't started drafting your personal statement, go on, get to it. You'll definitely go through several rounds of reviews, edits, and rewrites. April is also a good time to request letters of recommendation from your professors and others who you want to be your letter writers. In May, all three of the application services open up and allow you to start working on them. Fill them out as soon as you can, and don't forget to order your official transcripts right about now. You can start submitting your applications around the end of May, but they usually won't get verified by the application services until mid-June. In the meantime, check to see if your medical schools require you to take the AMC pre review assessment or the CASPER. Both are exams that test softer skills like professionalism, teamwork, and communication abilities. Fast forward to July and August. Your primary applications are in, and now it's all about those secondary applications. Brace yourself for a barrage of essay prompts that you'll need to complete ASAP. And finally, we reach September to March, the peak of your application saga. Basically, it's all about the med school interview. You'll start to hear back from school, so polish up those answers, practice your handshake, and maybe invest in a lucky interview outfit. Oh, and hey, don't forget to send those update letters and letters of intent because persistence pays off. And then before you know it, April rolls around, it's decision time. You've received offers, you've weighed your options, and now it's time to make that final choice. And that's it. The medical school application timeline has been simplified and demystified. Remember, organization and preparation are your best friends on this adventure. So gear up, stay focused, and soon enough, you'll be donning that white coat like a boss, or sorry, like a doctor.